if you need to mix in, I want to let you know that you can definitely get a decent mix with stock plugins in FL Studio. Stacking my money like a maniac, you can never ever call me like a nigga if you're in my zone. I be the answer 97, anybody fucking see me now, they wanna come and cost the money dope. And this is how it sounds after using stock plugins in FL Studio. Stacking my money like a maniac, you can never ever call me like a nigga if you're in my zone. I be the answer 97, anybody fucking see me now, they wanna come and cost the money dope. So let me show you how you can achieve this result as well. First, I use FL Studio stock plugin picture right here. Next, I use FL Studio's parametric EQ2 to remove low end mod in the vocals up to about 120 hertz and remove some mid range resonance. And then I use Fruity compressor to lock the vocals in so that it doesn't sound, you know, inconsistent, especially where he was shouting or where he went really quiet. Then I use this plugin in Patcher, it's a free plugin still. You lean intelligent the SI takes away the S's in the vocals, make it sound a lot cleaner and less harsh. And then I use FL Studio's multiband compressor. And my favorite preset in here is the bright preset right here. The bright preset. And I just simply tweak it a little bit and you get your vocals to sound crisp. And then right here, I have a little bit of post EQ going on to remove some low end mode that may be reintroduced. And then I have a simple parallel compression running right here. Then right here, I have a simple reverb chain. As usual, I recommend using a reverb calculator to get the best settings for your vocal. Then I used an EQ post reverb to clean up the echoes to make sure that it's clean and precise on the vocals. 